Hi friends, in my previous session I have showed how to uh, create Spring Cloud Config Server using file system. In this demo I am going to show how to create config server using vault based properties. So I have downloaded my vault inside C code and vault folder. I am going to start the vault server. I am good the I am starting the vault server in dev, in dev mode so that it I can use it for demo purpose. In dev mode it stores all the properties in, in memory. Once we stop the server all the data will be rust. See it started in uh, localhost uh, 8200 port. and it gave unsealed key as well as root token. We need this root token to retrieve our properties. So Vault stores the properties based on uh, secrets. So now I am going to write properties to this Vault server. First I have to set this Vault server. So set Vault address where the Vault is running. So I have set now I am going to create properties inside vault. So to create I have to use vault write. Here secret we have to give the name of the file. Something like our name of property file. And we can give property values. its success data is written to secret my app so I will read it for that all read secret with the name see it was able to retrieve the properties bomb equal to bus and foo equal to bar similarly I am going to write one more property So I have created one more uh, secret greeting. So I am going to read. See, I am able to read the value message equal to help. One more write I am doing. Inside application, I am giving some name equal to Vault Demo. So I have created three secrets. One is my app. One is my app, greetings, and application. Now I am coming to my Spring Boot. I am going to create one Spring Starter project. So I am going to name it as uh, Spring Cloud Config Server Vault. I am going to change the description because it is for Vault. And for cloud config server, we need config server. Select and finish. So the Spring Boot application to run as a config server, we have to add at the rate enable config server annotation. So I'm going to add enable. Uh, 
and all vault uh, envir properties will be stored in vault environment repository So all vault related properties will be stored in this vault environment repository. So we, if we want to change any default values, we, I can use spring.cloud.configs.server.vault.host for changing host address for port 4 and default port is 8200 even our application is running in the default port. Scheme is by default HTTP. If it is a production, it will be HTTPS. We can change that using vault.scheme equal HTTP backend by default it, look, it uses secret and here the default key what is the default properties it has to look so here it by default it is application just to get that proper uh, class i have added this i'm going to remove so now i'm coming to application dot property to run the server i have to add server dot port and to pick vault we have to give spring dot profiles dot active equal to vault we have to say the config server you have to retrieve properties from vault just we have to give only this value so that it will look for the properties inside the vault server which is there in this environment location so default values which is there in the environment so I'm, I'm done I'm going to start the application See now it put big properties from vault. Previously when we are doing with file system here it was native. Propels are active native. So now I am going to postman and hit and see. because it's a bad request for wall to pick I have to provide one header called xconfig token and the value will be the token value which the server gave When I give that header, it, I'm able to retrieve values from the vault server. So the name is greetings, and the property source vault greetings, and the message is hello. And it got the default properties because by default it is looks for application properties. So name equal to vault demo it got. Similarly, I'll go with my app.
and for my app I got uh, my app properties as well as default properties dot json if I go so it gives my app properties like bomb foo and then default property which is there in name so name property is not available in my app property file so it gave it from default value so now I want to change my default uh, property from application to greetings so as we have discussed we can change these values from default using spring.cloud.config.server.wall. what value we want to change here I want to change default key so I can use default key coming to my application I'm going to start. So application is started. Coming to Postman. See previously when I picked, it was giving default value which is there from greeting start profile. So now I'll check how it shows. See now it got properties from my app and default it got from greetings. So if I go with the property with JSON value, this time instead of name it got message which is there in the default properties. Okay friends, thank you.